Hey everybody, Shofi here coming to you with a movie review. You know, most of the time we talk scripture here, things that, uh, how they relate in context. But every now and then I like to do reviews on books that I'm reading or movies that I've seen. And um, this is a movie called Unplanned. A uh, very controversial movie because it deals with the subject of abortion. And um, if you have been following my channel for a period of time, you will know my stance on that. I've gotten into it biblically, and um, so I don't really want to talk about the biblical aspects of it. If you need that, I will put a link in the description below, as well as a link at the end of the video. So, um, just this movie itself. Let's go over some things. I'm not going to spoil it for those of you who still have not seen it, uh, but I did want to talk about some of the aspects. Now, the things that I like about these types of movies are is that they are very relatable. While controversial, they are relatable because they address directly uh, issues that are hot topics. So you have movies that indirectly address issues, you know, such as, um, you know, movies that I really didn't like that I took my kids to see, like a, a Wreck-It Ralph um, breaks the internet. You know, it's obvious what theme they were going for. They, all movies and books and stories have them. However, this is a direct issue and it is not underneath the plot. The plot is the issue. So it's very good in that. Um, now, as far as the movie being based on a true story, uh, when a movie is based on a true story, that means that they are allowed to take liberties. So I don't really go for the based on a true story because that means that any part of this movie can be false. Uh, any part of it. It just means based on a true story. Right? It's based on a true story, not the movie is the true story. So uh, as far as Abby Johnson and all of the information, I am not too cognizant of it. I've heard of the things that have happened in her battle because she came out of working at an abortion clinic. Uh, however, the movie is made to uh, entertain, to stir up, to persuade. You know, these are the things that that they happen. You know, I teach English. You write to persuade, to inform, or entertain. So a movie has to do all of that. And this movie will tug at your heartstrings. Brought tears to my eyes quite a few times. But I'm not one for fluff. I am not one for emotionalism. Uh, I understand that a lot of um, charismatic circles, you know, they 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 play on that as far as getting people emotionally invested. So a film like this is going to do that. But what about those of us who just want to know the information? Well, this is not, um, I'm not going to say this is not the movie for you, but you wouldn't be as invested if you want to look for something that's just pure information, more like a documentary. This is a story of Abby Johnson. So because of that, they have to, you know, take liberties with the characters. But uh, I, Yofi, am not one to dismiss a story because they take liberties. If you notice, I did a review of The Chosen. And The Chosen takes liberties with Jesus and with, with the, the Bible stories. Okay? So this movie takes liberties. It's going to tug at your heartstrings because, to me, it is very... Uh, effective at addressing uh, some truths behind abortion. And, um, and the reason that I say behind abortion is because I believe that uh, an issue as hot as this, they use trigger words. And that's what politicizes everything, is that you have these slogans and trigger words this is what politicians do. They use these slogans to not have you understand the true process behind things. Uh, every politician does it. 
you know, uh, President Trump with the Make America Great Again or Obama with the Yes, We Can. You know, all of these things are slogans. You don't actually know what's going on. You don't know what Donald Trump's doing behind closed doors. You don't know what President Barack Obama's doing behind closed doors. We don't, we don't know that. We just stand on the slogans. And when you have certain things like Planned Parenthood, um, they use that, that slogan as far as, you know, helping women, you know, um, crisis pregnancies, um, health care, right? There are all of these slogans, pro-choice or pro-life, you know, it's not killing a child, it's pro-choice, you see, we're just about a woman making a choice, well, if I take a gun and shoot you, that's me being pro-choice. I made a choice. I am for making the choice. Nobody cares about the word pro-choice, but it's a giant slogan that causes you to forget what's really going on. So I like the fact that this movie is in your face. It shows you uh, what's going on. In saying that, um, there were times where I almost had to look away because it gets so in your face, so zoomed in that you cannot deny um, that these things are happening. And, and what I mean is that, uh, that they're graphic uh, when it comes to abortion. So if you're not one who can uh, take those things, you know, if you're not one who can take blood, you know, things like that. Uh, this is not the movie for you because they are not implicit. They're explicit. Okay. So um, I know that there were certain people who rallied for this movie not to be rated R. This movie deserves to be rated R. It's not gory as far as, you know, war. They don't have any. No, they do have uh, two swear words very mild, uh, the D word and the A word, and um, said by like non-Christians, I believe, in the movie. So um, uh, it's not very vulgar with the language, uh, not very vulgar with, you know, nudity or anything like that, but um, they are explicit. And because of that, I agree. This should be rated R. You should not take a... 10 year old or a, not even a 13 year old um, who is not able to handle those types of things uh, I would say be prepared you know for instance like the the uh, passion of the Christ it's not a bad movie it's amazing however because of how in your face uh, the scenes are as far as Jesus crucified or being whipped at the post because of how graphic it is, yeah, this is a rated R movie. Uh, it's not a bad thing. I am endorsing this movie. However, you need to be careful if you want to bring a small child into this. This is clearly for adults. Now, for those of you on the side of uh, pro-choice, I recommend that you take a look at it. It is emotional and uh, some of the scenes do villainize uh, not pro-choicers but um, Planned Parenthood so if you are 100% in support of Planned Parenthood I suggest you take a look at the movie uh, because the slogans are what get us but we have to understand that this is a real thing uh, I have students who are Preteens, some 12, I teach from about 11 to 15 years old. And I have students come to me with those slogans. It's just a fetus. It's just a clump of cells. And they, they attempt to argue with me about it. And of course, being at the school system, it's not the appropriate time. It's not the appropriate place. And you can't really get into it. However... There are so many who only believe that a child in the womb is a clump of cells, 
uh, they can't feel any pain. This is not true. The, the research shows that children can feel pain. They can feel tickled. They can feel um, emotions. And um, they can feel pain. So when we want to address the issue, we need to bring these things to light and allow people to make a choice. I'm pro-choice. I believe that you should make a choice. But I do believe that people should make choices knowing what all of the consequences are. So, for instance, I don't believe in evolution. Not macroevolution. I do not. The evidence that I have gathered points away from it. So the choice that I am making is not to follow those teachings because of the evidence. I believe that a lot of people are misinformed about abortion. And uh, the testimony of Abby Johnson can help. You need to see what Planned Parenthood is saying. We do. And then we also need to see the other side as to what people like Abby Johnson are saying. Um, even through films like these. Film is a great avenue to get uh, information across. So this movie does that in an amazing way. So um, I give this movie two thumbs up if I can do that. Um, I recommend that, once again, every Christian should see it and anyone who is in support of Planned Parenthood should see it uh, because a lot of the information is skewed and uh, more so than information once again you'll get the emotional side but there there are um, parts that would help to shine light on this topic all right so trying to stick to protocol that is my review of this movie go see it Keep kids and people who, who don't like the graphic scenes, keep them away from it. Maybe you should just talk with them about it. But uh, for those consenting adults, two thumbs up, unplanned, go see it, download it and watch it on, um, I think it's on Pure Flix. You could stream it, you could download it. It's on quite a few places where you can get it if you don't want to. Um, I don't know if you can purchase it. I know I don't see it in Walmarts and things. So um, really, you should, you should go on the internet, download this, watch it, stream it, and um, let me know what you think. And uh, we'll continue the conversation another time. All right? Peace, guys.